So Julia, tell me a little bit about what your background. Ah, well, I'm a nurse by original trade and still a nurse, once a nurse, always a nurse. Okay. Uh, but I've had a wonderful career and the opportunity to work at the healthcare bedside as a staff nurse, all the way up through hospital departmental management and hospital administration. So it uh, gives me a chance to now work uh, out in the industry and specifically currently with you here at ASCOM. Okay. So why is the, the nurse's perspective the value add for the IDN? Uh, I think what happens is when we have those conversations about looking at their system and IDN specifically the system, they are trying to look at the big picture and understand that what they're purchasing isn't necessarily what they will be using themselves that are mm -hmm. making these decisions, mm -hmm. but I bring to the table the ability to help them see that because I have been there mm -hmm. in the shoes of their end users. So I think that's really important. Okay. So clinical consulting is an important part of our business and an important part of what we do for our clients. What's uh, kind of walk us through a typical example of that? Sure. Uh, certainly when we're trying to uh, determine exactly what they're asking for, what their goals are, then we can match from our portfolio what it is that will answer their goals, their mm -hmm. issues, their concerns, and then very specifically narrow it down to identify, okay, you're interested in this and this, what about putting this together in another way? We have the ability to show them from step A to step B to step C and how that will impact and let them improve their efficiencies, their workflow. Mm -hmm. And as we all know, communications, good data is what drives good patient outcome. So interoperability, interfacing are really important in healthcare, especially in the larger health systems. What are some examples of strategic partnerships that we've, we've done over the years and, and how it's impacted the IDN? You know, we are very agnostic in who we interface with. We don't care who they may have in other parts of their facility. Mm -hmm. We are open architecture, and we're going to be able to take those other systems and make that connection. Uh, you can probably not name one that we have not made at least one connection with. So we're out there to bring everything together in the most reasonable fashion to uh, make use of what you already have in your infrastructure. Okay. So. What's a question that IDNs should be asking that they're not asking? I would love to see the IDN executives specifically asking and understanding what does the end user want and need. Okay. I think sometimes they lose sight based on looking for just a solution to put out but not necessarily understanding that solution. I feel like my uh, background lends itself to helping them see and understand that better. Okay. So scalability is an important part of what we do, and especially with large health systems. Well, yeah. Talk about how we scale with the systems, also with our partners. Sure. Uh, we have systems that are very small. We have systems that are very large. Our portfolio can be built to be simple to get started, and then we build as they need more and more things. The one thing that I think sometimes is really important is, yes, there are so many things that the system can do, but it's not always good to put that all in place at the very beginning. I would like to recommend, you know, let's look at a reasonable and real plan to lay out and build it from the base up just for what they need. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Talk to you later.